Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to another episode of Sprocket. Today we're going to be building a German super heavy tank. So this is along the lines of like the E100 or the mouse. Uh, this thing actually ends up quite a lot louder? 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 Uh, <laughs> Jesus. This thing uh, ends up quite a bit lighter than those two tanks, but uh, not particularly less armoured. I think a little bit less than the mouse. I think, did the mouse have 300 or was it 200? If it's 200, then I had more armour, because um, this thing ended up with 250 millimetres of frontal armour in the end. Um, and if it, you know, was 300, then it's less. Um, maths. But yeah... <laughs> <laughs> it's a fairly uh, simple hull form, as with the mouse and the E100, so um, there's not a lot going on there, but uh, the sheer size of this thing and making it feel proportional is a challenge in itself, because when you are building this big, like, making fixtures on it, like, you know, the gunner's sight, uh, the, the, the driver's hatch, look like they fit rather than just being these tiny little bolt-on pieces can be quite a challenge, uh, and it's not something that I've always been the best at. I think, I think it went all right with this tank, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit ludicrous, um, you know, not so ludicrous, to be honest. Is it as ludicrous as the mouse? Probably. It's probably as ludicrous as the mouse, because it's got two guns. You know, the mouse only had the one, so... Well, it, no, but the mouse did have two. The mouse had two, it had a 75, and then the 128. So, you know, is it is it the same amount of ludicrous, or less ludicrous, or more ludicrous than the mouse? And the mouse was built, so let me know. Do you, do you think this is as ludicrous as a mouse? Not the animal, the tank. Um, though you could probably assume that. I, I swear to God, every single time I do one of these commentaries post-recording the video, it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> do any of you still sit through this? I feel like some of you do. It it's it it gets a little bit um, delirious. Uh, probably, I've had a hell of a day. This recording was chaotic at the best of times. I forgot to record whole segments. Uh, I forgot to change my volume back down from a previous recording I was doing on a different game. Uh, hopefully that video will come out fairly soon as well. Uh, I also, just this morning, I, I went out, I had to fill out a booklet from the vets. I went to the vets, filled in the booklet, and on the way home, I picked up a, a COVID test from, from the shop. And while I was there, I was like, I'll grab a coffee from the coffee machine. And I go, I put them on the roof of my car, which I've done a hundred thousand times. And the wind just decides right then and there to do a huge gust and blow the coffee right over the door of my car. So I had to drive home with coffee all over the side of my car. <sighs> it's washed off now. I've washed it off. But goodness me, what, what an occasion. That is just... <laughs> Oh my god. You know how embarrassing it is driving around town in a white car with a massive coffee stain on the side of it. People are looking like, what on earth? <laughs> what, what on earth has happened to that car? That's not dirt. That's not an off-roading kind of car. I drive a subcompact. It doesn't go off-road. <laughs> Goodness me. Has any of this got to do anything, anything to do with tanks? No, probably not. But here we are. Goodness me. Um... Yeah, anyway, the tank's pretty much done now. Uh, I've run out of time to talk about the tank, so I hope you enjoy the gameplay. <laughs> and here we have our big boy. I've called it the Mark 18. Um, we just jump between the numbers, honestly, so often. Uh, maybe my uh, <laughs> sprocket mount needs to be a little bit bigger. But yeah, I mean, it's huge. It weighs 114 tons. Um, however, you know what? It's actually surprisingly mobile, all things considered. Uh, I think it can get up to about 25 miles an hour, which, considering its size, isn't too bad, and, like, the turning circle is actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it turns quite fast on the spot. Can we go up the 40-degree hill? Probably not. Oh, that's that's disappointing. We can't, can't do it, not because of the uh, <laughs> gearing, but because our idler hits the road first. Uh, and we don't have enough force to push us up. And now my fenders have fallen. This is a disaster. Okay, Tiger 2 versus Big Man. Uh, the Tiger 2 will probably be able to go through with fair ease on my tank. Uh, the Tiger 2 has with some, just over 200 millimeters of penetration. Uh, but I think with angling, we might be okay. I do need to keep my speed up if I can and keep him missing. Uh, but obviously, 
while fairly mobile for a 114 ton tank, it's still not exactly Speedy Gonzales out here, so I'm just kind of taking a leisurely stroll towards them, keeping the angle open. I uh, don't really want to get exploded. <laughs> it might happen. Ooh, there we go. Still bouncing, still bouncing. I just want to close the distance because uh, I'm not confident that from long range I'm going to be able to really confidently penetrate the Tiger II here. Um, and it is getting riskier and riskier the closer I get. I am pretty confident now that I should really be firing, though. Uh, we've missed our first shot. Let's be more accurate with our second. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, it loaded the APHE. Why did it do that? Oh, that's why we weren't able to go through. Okay, I've gone from uh, 140 millimeters of frontal armor to 180, uh, which should now be enough to pretty reliably block the Tiger II's shots here. If it isn't, then I'm very impressed with that Tiger II's gun. I don't know how they've done that with an 88 in, in that case, but uh, yeah, no, we should be fine, I think. I blew up. I was not fine. <laughs> okay, we've increased our guns to have a 100mm longer shell. <laughs> okay, bigger gun versus the Tiger II. We have, we have more penetration now. All I need to do is survive long enough to load this AP round, which is easier said than done. <laughs> given that in my reload cycle, the Tiger II fires like five times. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this level is ridiculous. I just, I can't believe that with this, we're struggling to have enough armor to block the King Tiger's rounds. <laughs> it's insane. I, I... Yeah, I mean, I don't feel bad about struggling with this level with my earlier tanks anymore, at the very least. Um, I really don't. <laughs> it just really goes to show how much my little tanks punch above their weight when they're able to defeat this mission with fair ease. Uh, I guess numbers helps a lot, but man, it is... Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> a difficult level. The Tiger II, I think, was firing up at this... Um, turret on the top here, this machine gun turret, and there's no one in there, so it can do damage, but it kind of, it, it most of the time isn't doing a huge amount, so that was, that was quite fortunate here, but my god, this level <laughs> is ridiculous. Okay, here we are on fields with uh, what I'm going to call a slightly fairer representation of how this tank is going to perform. Uh, the Tiger II is just mental <laughs> in crossroads. I don't, I don't think we can expect to have as many armor difficulties as we did in the previous level. I think we're we're gonna block a couple more shots this time around. The uh, enemies tend to be a little bit weaker here, though. To be fair, the late war scenarios, the Tiger II is in, so we're gonna have those difficulties again if we try and take on Tiger or defense. Okay, I think I've left 200% budget on, which means we're going to have a lot of enemies to fight here. But we do have one ally on our side, and uh, do not adjust your sets. Uh, my engine sounds have just disappeared for a minute. They'll come back. There we go. <laughs> I knew they would, eventually. Uh, I've got the APHE loaded, and in theory, I should be able to... Oh, goodness me... I was about to say I should be able to do one shot, one kill for the most of this, which means, you know, having two guns halves my reload, essentially, but then I immediately missed my first shot, which is quite embarrassing. Uh, hello, friends. Let's not miss any more shots. Oh, that one bounced. That's unfortunate. Uh, I would really like these enemies to not get behind me, but it looks like that fate is pretty much sealed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, the side and back armor of this tank isn't spectacular, to be entirely honest. I mean, it's it's good for any tank to have any kind of rear, rear armor at all, and it's got about 60 mil, but that is nothing compared to the frontal armor, so you do really want to keep front facing. Once again, a bounce? I... <laughs> Very unfortunate. Really unfortunate, those bouncers there. Um, I must just be hitting the trolliest bit of armor because uh, 
yeah, I mean, we have more than enough penetration to kill these guys with absolute impunity. Here we go. There we go. It start, it's starting to get some, some kills racked up here. Um, it is a little bit unfortunate that we're down to just one of our tanks. I was hoping to get both through to the heavies because... Um, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned that the enemies we face, whether they're panthers or tigers, will just be able to punch clean through the front of this thing in certain places. Um, hopefully that isn't the case, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit scared. There is a PAMA 4 over this hill. Hello, my friend. Uh, there we go, he's gone. And there's one more. Who we have to hunt down. <laughs> Probably stuck in this ravine somewhere, I'm gonna guess. Oh, goodness me. Where'd that come from? Oh, right where I killed the previous one. Hello, buddy. What are you doing down there? There we go. Oh, goodness me. 12 heavy tanks. Do I even have enough ammo for that? <laughs> That's a lot of heavy tanks to kill. All right, let's get to work. Okay. Panthers it is. Uh, let's get ourselves into a little bit of cover here. We're gonna need some luck here because, well, just being able to kill all of these enemy tanks with the amount of ammo we have is gonna be a little bit of a tall order, to be honest. I don't imagine this is gonna go particularly well for us, but well, we'll see. Um, I just want to get into a bit of a better spot first, and I think the better spot I'm looking for might just be in this little dip. So I'm going to aim at the guys on the hill and let those guys on in front of me just kind of not see me. Uh, hello, friend. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> heartbroken. Okie dokie. Volley number two. Uh, maybe I just chill for a second and wait for one of them to make a mistake. I mean, I've got the side armor of him. Oh, no, I mean, I've blown up. Hi! Um, I totally didn't forget to unpause my recording. Uh, I just beat this level. <laughs> then, afterwards, I checked my OBS and the recording was paused. Oh! Yeah! I was really looking forward to doing this again. Uh, <laughs> anyway, to recap, I've increased the armor to 250 millimeters on the front, and uh, now I know this level's possible, so let's let's give it a shot, shall we? For the, for the first time since increasing my armor to 250 millimeters. <laughs> ah, this video is causing me a lot of pain. Okay, ten light tanks, two allies. Hopefully, there will soon be no light tanks and two allies. That would be ideal. Uh, we failed the first time to survive with both of our tanks, but hopefully this time will be a little bit different. Not a great first shot, got eaten by the tracks there, but we'll just reverse. Uh, in theory... We have more side armor and rear armor as well as more frontal armor, so it should be pretty hard for these Pamaphors to penetrate us anywhere. Me and my big bloody mouth! <laughs> for goodness sake! What on earth?! Oh, goodness me. Not only did it just blast through the front of my previous tank, just as I was saying it should be hard to do so, I also can't hit the inside of a barn from <laughs> Goodness me! Alright, six more light tanks, all of them at point-blank range, uh, and clearly they can just kill me. Uh, <laughs> somewhere on my tank, god knows where. It'd be lovely if I could get a double kill. Oh, goodness me, I, I can't get a double kill. I can't even get a single kill with these shots. What is it about my heavy tanks and being statistically so incredible and yet, in practice, just the least functional things in existence? It's almost like heavy <laughs> It's almost like they're heavy tanks. I'll tell you what, it's almost like they're heavy tanks. Goodness gracious me. You guys, I tell you what, you Pamaphors, you punch well up. I've newfound respect for the Pamaphors because they should not be doing this well. <laughs> and yet... Somehow, 
some way, they are just doing so much better than you ever expect them to. However, I'm afraid it's all for nothing, Pamaphor. Goodbye. <laughs> and now, just 13 heavy tanks, which is one more than we had before, and uh, 100 less frames per second, it would seem. I'm gonna guess it's... it's tigers? Might be togs, but I'm gonna guess at tigers. And that's pretty nice, because they're somewhat easy to penetrate from the front. I like that. I like tigers. It's togs. It's tog twos. These things reload so quickly. <laughs> the tog twos. They are just machine guns. Uh, however... Oh, that was heartbreaking. I think we hit him, but it didn't go through. Ah, oh, now I don't even know where that went. There? Yeah, there we go. Okay, tog two down. Uh, Twelve more to go, and concerningly, I don't see many of them. Hello. Uh, let's aim about... Uh, there, probably? Oh, it went through. It didn't kill him. Set fire to his engine, though. That one's done him in. Uh, okay, now for your friend. A little bit closer again. Probably about there. I really should fix... Oh, that's my track, isn't it? They've just got my track. Uh, oh, and there goes a loader. That should, that, I think that's one of my guns out. I don't know which. Um, oh, this is not ideal. I'm going to level with you. There's one quite close to me on the right, I think. There we go. He's gone. Oh, no. Where are they going through? That's what I want to know. Because I can't. Is it? Oh, there. This bit's not very armoured. Oh, no. Right, we're down in it to 100% budget. My ally always dies immediately. So there's no point fighting double the heavy tanks when I don't need to. We're just going to have one ally. Well, no allies, just me. And uh, just fight less tanks because it... <laughs> I don't... I, I could not tell you why. I've just not been able to get a single battle where both tanks have got through these light tanks. Only six light tanks. Hopefully... Hopefully... We can actually take them out. My engine sounds have gone. Um, yeah. Goodness me, this is... This is proving difficult. Hello, my friend. There we go. First Pamaphor down. We start as we mean to go on. Let's just not miss a single shot here. We'll be careful. We're going to get them all one by one without a miss. Okay, come on. Just be careful. There we go. Take your time. Chill out. We have more than enough armor. We're going to be okay. Two left. One shot from each gun. Let's not waste any ammo. Let's not waste any reloads. Easy shot on the side of the turret. There we go. And then this guy down here. He is behind a hill. That's weird. That hill doesn't appear when I'm not zoomed in. Uh, just climb up the hill a little bit and then crest over. Hello. Yes! Okay. Seven enemy heavy tanks. That, uh, probably the tiger, I'm going to guess. As one of our tiger friends. Let's see. Can we... Oh, he's gone behind a hill. Just gonna leave it. My hope is, if they don't see me, they're gonna push up. And if I can close the distance, it's not gonna be such an influence that I'm a human and I have imperfect aim. <laughs> one of the tigers has started firing. Let's see if we can return a shot here. Yep, that's a good start. Alright, first tiger down. Friend. Let's see if we can give you a little bit of what that other tiger got. A little bit too low there. Uh, high even. <laughs> there. Oh, just hit the side of his cheek there. Bounced off. This gun's reloaded. There's a tiger trying to crest the hill there. Uh, that's 
way too high. Uh, what about here? Still way too high. He's very confused, isn't he? Oh, goodness me. That is a heartbreak. Uh, oh, oh, these misses. They're so, so close. <laughs> There we go. We put him out of his put him out of his misery day. He was a little bit confused, bless him, about the hill. He didn't know what to do. Oh, tell you what. I reckon my game audio has been too high this whole time. There goes another tiger. Oh. There's a tiger here, just over this hill. Um, oh, goodness me. I don't know. I do need to deal with these guys at range, though. Oh no, that's damage on my engine. That's going to reduce my already pretty bad power to weight ratio. Oh, come on. Oh, that is way too high. That's just way too high. Come on, come on. Let's deal with this guy. That looks... Oh, that looked good. That looked good, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. And now there's just one more guy at long range. Who is probably the biggest threat here. Let's aim about there. On the side. Yeah, there we go. And now these two are really close up to me. Let's just charge them down here. Uh, crest the hill. Bounce off him. Do no damage. Fire again. Kill him. The other one has now got free reign while I reload. Uh, not quite how I expected this plan to go, but it, it you know, it's how it's going, so who cares? Uh, pow! Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness me. What a cursed video. Um, but yeah, we are going to call it here. If you'd like to uh, have a play around with this tank yourself, feel free to download it, the uh, tank repository channel in my Discord, which is linked in the description. Uh, and if you did enjoy this video, please have a like, comment, and or subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the future. Goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to my patrons, Badger, Camgem135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Gavin Yelverton, Gunmaster929, Sadcat, Jasper Boa, Yoki003, Just Casual T62M1, Last Dungeon 11, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rule Souls Bokken, Ryan Brody, The Kinesian Emperor, Tree Loving Mango, Zero Shime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support.